Okay, so let's uh, work with the particle flow. As you can see, my scene is set up to work with the particle flow as usual here. So I'm going to go to the left viewport. I'm going to click F3 here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to create a new uh, empty flow. As usual, I'm going to set the viewport to 100%. And the integration steps, I'm going to set it to a half frame. It's going to be exactly the same as for the render. I'm gonna use the birth grid as we did the last time. Connect it over here. I'm gonna add the shape operator to our. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just use it from here. Shape. Okay, display geometry. As you can see, they are too big. So I'm going to set them. I'm going to set my unit very quick here. So they're customize unit setup system unit setup. I'm going to set it to uh, centimeters. Click OK and set this one to generic unit. I'm going to set the size to one point five. Point five is OK for the birth grid. I'm going to lower my grid size let's say to point one. Oh, actually increase it not uh, lower it increase it to five yeah five is like a good size i'm gonna start with the length okay Click G here. Make sure it does not intersect with the ground. It doesn't really matter in the beginning. So I'm going to increase the width. Actually, I'm going to set the grid size here to 10. Okay. Go to the front viewport. As you can see, the height and everything is all kind of messed up. It's uh, all because they created uh, this bird grid while I was in the left viewport. That's why it's uh, this way. It's better to create it when you are in the perspective viewport. Okay. I guess that's good enough. Let's increase the size of our shape from uh, 0.5 to 1. Let's try 2. Okay, and the birth grid, let's uh, lower the size here to 8. And I'm going to push up. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to go to restrict uh, by mesh volume and select my car. Nice. Now I'm going to hide, hide the geometry here. And that's what we get. Okay, now I want to apply uh, the physics uh, to this uh, shape here. So I'm going to apply MP shape. I'm going to leave it set as box. I'm going to increase maybe a little bit of friction and the dynamic friction. I'm going to set it to 1. I'm going to add an MP world. Create a new driver. Select it, apply gravity and the ground collision plane. If I play right now, they're gonna just fall straight to the ground. Okay, but I want them to follow the animation of the car. So I'm gonna hide my proxy again and hide my name, the car proxy. Uh, first thing what I need to do, I need uh, to turn off the simulation if I want them to uh, follow the car here. Okay, so I'm gonna append operators. MP switch. I'm gonna put it before the MP world, and I'm gonna turn off the simulation here. I'm gonna append. So now, if I play, nothing gonna happen. Go back to the first frame. 
and I'm gonna append operators I want my particle to follow the car so I'm gonna append the test just uh, what is it lock bond okay I'm gonna add it I'm gonna add the car I'm gonna just uh, leave it as is and now if I play you see they're gonna follow the car now we'll just play and see what frame the collision actually happened so I'm gonna go to the front play frame by frame let's say at frame 72 now we want it at frame 70 okay so I'm gonna go back to the first frame I'm gonna append test age test and I'm gonna copy the MP shape and the MP word and the display I'm gonna copy them over here as a new event basically and I'm gonna connect this one over here and set the test value here to be 72 and the variation to be 0 so if I play now as you can see our uh, geometry basically just falls after the 70s I'm gonna hide this car here go back to the first frame so if I play and after they just break which could be an animation that you could use too so okay now what we want we want our particles to stay all together once uh, while they are here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply a glue test okay so I'm gonna bend you could apply the glue here too but I'm gonna just apply it over here tests MP glue I'm gonna set it to rigid uh, our shape here the size is 2 I think uh, the MP glue of 5 should be fine but we're gonna just increase it to 10 to give it, to give it uh, so it's gonna stick more to, uh, to each other I'm gonna set the max bind particle to 8 I'm gonna break it by force and just give it an arbitrary number. It's always start with big numbers. Let's say I'm gonna start with 10,000. And for the max torque, I'm gonna set it to 10,000 too. And max bind uh, distance, I'm gonna set it to 15. And continuous adjustment. And the time in here, I'm gonna set it to continuous. Okay, so with all of that set, I'm gonna set visualizes our uh, binding so we can see them and click play. As you can see, that's what we get here. One thing before we continue, I need uh, to turn off the, um, the real time. So I'm gonna just control plus X here. Turn off the real time and click OK. As you can see, all our tag particles are binding, so I'm going to just turn off the visualize binding here and go back to the first frame. Let's play again. Basically, that's what we get. That's a big mess here. Okay, we need to try to keep those uh, particles uh, kind of stiff. To do that, I'm going to select my MP world. And I'm going to do some changes to it. So basically what we need to change here. I'm going to set the subframe factor here to 8. I'm going to just start with 8. We might increase it. Uh, for the energy, I'm going to set it to 0, 0,1. And the bounce to 0, 0, 0,001. And just to try to keep it stable. So if I play. Okay, that's what we get. As you can see, it's already deformed and everything, but it has a lot of bounciness to it. To fix that, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go to the front viewport. I'm going to increase the size of my uh, shapes here. So I'm going to set the shapes to 5. Okay. And for my MP glue here, I'm going to set the max force to 20,000 and 
for my MP word here I'm gonna set the subframe here to 15 again go to the perspective viewport and play okay that's better now that's really better good as you can see it's really good go back to the first frame uh, we could uh, increase our glue test here instead of to, uh, the max force I'm gonna give it uh, 30,000 come on let's play that's better that's really better I like that okay so I'm gonna go back to the first frame so now what we need to do we need uh, to transfer this uh, deformation from uh, the particles to the geometry but before you do that let's say you are happy with your animation and this is it now what you need to do you need to cache your uh, particles so I'm gonna right click here append operators uh, miscellaneous cache to disk uh, select files I'm gonna just uh, save uh, to a different uh, to a file I'm give it a second I'm gonna create a new folder here that's uh, my old car crash here I'm gonna uh, dodge I'm not sure if that's how you write it and I'll crash save and I'm gonna click update it's gonna start slowing down right here caching now uh, all this uh, MP glues and stuff it's gonna take uh, a little bit of time so I'm gonna just wait for it to cache and it'll be back when it's done okay uh, so now it's uh, cached as you can see only problem is keep sliding a lot here but I need to do I need to probably to add a drag force here and just uh, make it uh, make that drag start kicking at frame frame let's see what frame so it, it hits here goes down let's set frame 100 on frame 100 I'm gonna add the drag here so I'm gonna go back to first frame and pend operators I'm gonna add the MP drag I'm gonna set it uh, to linear and I'm gonna click uh, N let's set frame 100 here I'm gonna set this one here to 5 and angular to 5 okay uh, before that I'm gonna set it here to 0 and 0 okay so basically it kicks in just at frame 100 okay so uh, I just uh, finished the caching our geometry here and as you can see that's what I got it's still sliding a little bit but uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just say it's okay and now uh, we could uh, deal with that uh, sliding later on if you don't want it so uh, right now with our geometry is cached I'm gonna unhide by name right click I'm gonna just maximize my scene and close my PF uh, uh, particle flow view here I'm gonna right click unhide by name my carboxy and I'm gonna select it and duplicate it control plus V make a copy and I'm gonna name it car deformer you can't use the the same geometry to deform as, uh, like the carboxy you can't use that we have to use a uh, different uh, geometry because that carboxy the particle are using it uh, to, to calculate the particles so I'm gonna click H, I'm gonna select the carboxy here, I'm gonna hide the selection. With our car deformer now, I'm gonna apply particle scanner. I'm gonna click add H the PF source pick and I'm gonna click activate scanning. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna 
just turn it off and when I right click all right click can delete, delete selected animation okay so you won't have any animation now on this car here I'm gonna enable my particle scanner now and if I play if I play as you can see we get some little problem here so I'm gonna just increase this fall off here to 30 I'm gonna click 6 okay for some reason my shortcut is not working I'm gonna click H here I'm gonna select my PF source the particle view I'm gonna change the display here to point or none okay so now if I play we should get some deformation once it hit down here there we go nice so if I click C to go look at this through the camera go back to the first frame I'm gonna delete these keys here oh those are the, the PF source okay now play good okay so uh, now we could uh, like added uh, a flex modifier to it too to give it some kind of a uh, little bit of bending let's just play yep that's good that's enough I, I really don't want to tweak that flex uh, a lot because it's going to give me that little jerkin right here so that's good go back to the first frame go to the front viewport now with all of that done let's cache this geometry here so I'm going to right click at the point cache new uh, rename it uh, car deformer I'm going to save it and record here okay now I'm going to delete all of those and if I play and I'm going to click 6 actually H again because my shortcut for some reason is not working particle view I'm going to turn it off and we get our animation now okay so this is the animation for the car and basically this is just for the body and now in the next weeks we're gonna do the rest of the car like the doors the hood and all the other uh, good stuff